My name is Roman Petrov. I'm uh, head of uh, Jean Monnet Center of Excellence in EU Studies at National Academy uh, of uh, Kyiv Magila. Now I'm in Germany and I'm working uh, and doing my research at uh, Max Planck Institute in International and Comparative Law in Heidelberg. Uh, my keynote is going to be exactly on the topic of the EU solidarity and of course with the relevance to the war in Ukraine. In particular, I'm going to look and discuss with the audience uh, the issues uh, if and how the EU and its member states manage to react, assist and prevent current and future crises and uh, conflicts on the European continent. I believe uh, that um, it's very difficult to measure right now if the European Union and uh, its member states have shown um, perfect solidarity on the matter related to the war in Ukraine for the reasons that unfortunately the conflict is still going on and uh, unfortunately and most likely we are still going to face the most critical part of it which is going and may go beyond uh, the borders of Ukraine unfortunately again and it's, uh, it's uh, actually the most critical moment what we are going to face and the Russian side, the Russian current regime is very much hoping to bring the European Union to this brink when uh, true EU solidarity is going to either be successfully tested or to fail. Nevertheless, up until now, I'm as a Ukrainian must admit and to appreciate that the European Union uh, as an international organization and its member states have shown amazing and significant level of solidarity related almost to whole fields of EU competences, in particular humanitarian aid, um, also education, uh, military assistance and support as well as um, uh, the mere fact of acknowledging and giving, granting Ukraine the EU candidate country status was and still is probably the most important and significant stimulus for Ukrainian people to continue fighting and defend uh, their democratic values.